what is up guys it's from me back with another video it's been like a week my bad it took me so long but but today i'm gonna be talking about what would you do you know i haven't reacted to one of these what would you do videos in a while and it's pretty much just you know like a situation and we see what the average person would do in that situation right so um let's see what it is her mom is humiliating good you humiliated me when you got suspended from school how many signatures do I need? You need 50 before you can go anywhere. So today's What Would You Do episode is pretty much this teenager, tween, you know, kid. She, like, got in trouble. She stole, she smoked and stuff, she lied. And now she's forced to wear a sandwich board. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Like, I don't think it's that bad, but I think it might mess up the kid, like, mentally or, or like, emotionally in, his, in their hometown and stuff. Um, but, I mean, let's see what happens. I mean, she only needs 50 signatures, and then she's, you know, she's free to go, right? So, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to see 50 people and then just, you know, be on your way. So, you would stand your kid out here like this, too, right? Sure, why not? This should be the worst teacher you're subjected to. So, I'm doing the right thing? That's not good. I'm sorry. I don't think this is going to work. What else can I do? I don't know. I'm going to talk. I wouldn't do that. It's humiliating for her to be out there, but I don't think it works. I mean, I don't know what they really expected, right? I mean, people are just going to be walking around, taking pictures, laughing at them. I mean, that's pretty It's pretty humiliating. Like, the, this lady who said it, you know, she was right. I mean, the two guys said, oh, I would do this to my kid. And another guy just said, huh, you know, you're doing the right thing. I would do it and takes a picture. I mean, this lady, she has, like, the right idea, the right path. She said, just talk to her. You know, this too humiliating. I wouldn't do about it this way. Yeah, you know, this is an A plus for the lady. I don't know about the whole talking thing, um, but she does make some good points. You think it's right to put a sandwich board on all the time? I can't do anything. It's not, it's not right, right? But you may have to stand the hallway and spend the night in jail. I mean, obviously, I think that thing would probably work. I feel like there's a show that does this, you know, stuff where they send, like, bad kids or kids who problemed troubled kids, and they send them to jail and see how jail is like. I'm like, if you keep doing this, you're just going to end up. But I mean, also, I feel like um, a night in jail, though, that's kind of extreme. But I mean, I think a sandwich board is just a lot easier to do. Like sending a kid to jail for a night seems like a lot. Like you'd probably have to like work that out with like police or something like that. When like if you just do a sandwich board type of thing, all you have to do is just, you know, like get a sign. Like you probably get up two posters for like a 50 cent, 75 cent. Just tie some string. I understand you're abusing her. I'm abusing her. It's a little too much. I want to punch the behavior, not the child. They're a best friend, too. I don't know what to do with her. Love her. You know, another person making another nice point, right? He said, yo, you're abusing her. You know, you don't got to do all this. But he also then goes on to say, like, you need to punch the behavior and not her. I mean, I really don't understand what that means. But, I mean, it, it seems like a step in the right direction. So maybe he's on to something. You agree this is appropriate punishment? Yeah. You didn't spank his butt? You doing the right thing. All right, so they switched out the girl for a boy. And, you know, already we can send some different reactions. But, you know, one lady, she just said, you ain't spank him. And that's pretty much, I felt like, you know, I don't think hitting your kids is, is like, okay. But I feel like, I mean, if you hit your kid, it stays in the household. If you put him outside in the street, everyone gonna know about it. So, I mean, I don't know what what's worse, you know, for the health of a kid. But I don't know. Let's keep watching. But all I'm saying, it seems like this this lady, this black lady, she would have spanked this kid. Should have been whipped. He should have been getting the belt. Should have been like, leave the belt, coming home at six, put the belt on the table, and you be you better be up. Type. So what you're doing now is wonderful. And I said to him, it's a big thing. You will never forget this. Mm -hmm. Dude, the lady is right. He will never forget this. And neither will everyone in the town. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, maybe maybe the other lady who said, just whoop him. You ain't spank him. But then she says, oh, what you're doing is right. I mean, I don't know. Do you, do you want to humiliate him? Because, you know, this guy going to have to go back to school. You know, his friends might have seen him on that. And like, ugh, like, imagine on, on Monday. Kid okay, go back to school. You know, if if you get beat at home, no one will really know if you get beat at home. But I mean if you gotta walk around for a sign 
with a sign on you for like four or three hours just to get signatures. I mean, when you get to school on Monday, people are going to be like, hey, yo, I saw you. Don't you be stealing? And then you're going to be like the hometown clown. I don't know which punishment is better. I probably wouldn't do it. I probably wouldn't do it. I probably wouldn't hit my kid either. But, I mean, he does have to be punished though, right? Your mom instituted this? Yes, ma'am. Now this happening. I've just been standing out here just twirling around all day. <laughs> you making me laugh. Don't you think this is overkill, though? No, but I guess you won't do it again. No, but I'm still embarrassed. That's that. That's that point. I mean, I'm. This is a. This is wonderful. Thank you. But you know what Thank I told you. Him? Uh -huh. I signed it, but keep twirling. Uh -huh. This ain't gonna scar you. All right. So you see, like the lady comes and she's literally agreeing with him. She's like, oh, well, now you're embarrassed right now. You're not going to do it again. Stuff like that. And then she, she, you know, she adds on to the punishment. She's like, hey, keep trolling, keep trolling. This is why I'm like, I don't know if that public humiliation is that. Because, you know, he lives in that town, right? He's going to be the hometown clown. He's going to have to move towns in a few years because everyone will be like, hey, aren't you that kid who stole from his parents or something like that? But, like, if he got beat, I mean, it, that, that beating, you know, it, look, it stinks for, like, 30, 30 minutes, an hour. You get to go, and then, you know, you go in, back in your room and, you know, chill out. I think getting beat is a little, probably a little bit less. But I don't know. The video's still going on. Let's check it out. This is his punishment. That's wrong. I don't agree. I mean, this is like public humiliation. Exactly. That's, Maybe he'll learn. Exactly. You're not going to teach him that way. Let me tell you He's not going to teach him that way. You're good. Keep twirling. I Yay. So. I, Keep really, twirling. I don't think so. Keep twirl. I really don't think so. Keep twirl. All right, so a lady comes to save the day. And this black lady, she's just still telling this kid to twirl, bro. At this point, bro, I'd have been crying, honestly. I'd have been crying on the sidewalk or something. I was like 12, bro. I'd have been crying. I'd have, I'd have been like, it's too hot. I'm out. I'm still outside. Ain't nobody signing this paper, bro. Get me out of here. You don't come from a black background where it's hard. It's hard. You say, say I that. Come from, I come from an Italian background. I grew up in the Bronx. Any of any your brothers and sisters in jail? As a young black boy today, do you know that they, they're the quickest to go to jail? But you got to start like this. Humiliate. So. Heck yeah, this ain't humiliating. He might do it again. Back in my day, you got a whooping. Well, I've got whoopings in my day too, but nobody ever did this. But to me, this is better than a whooping today. Well, I'm sorry, I can't. I just but you, who are you to tell a mother this is wrong for the punishment of her child? You could just say for yourself. This is my I opinion. Just, I'm not telling her what to do or no, what not to do. But you're telling her she's wrong. You should say, so, I just don't agree with oh, this. Oh, you're absolutely right. I don't, don't agree with this. If this right. was my child, I would not yeah. humiliate right. my child. This what would you, you do? What would you do? But I mean, this this other lady, she's like, oh, you know, this isn't right. You know, she said she got whoopings. They both got whoopings. And, you know, the black lady brings up a good point. Black African males are black for just more likely to go to jail. So he needs to be humiliated, take responsibility for his action. But I mean, I don't know. But this is the good question. You know, they do ask, what would she do? What would she do in this situation? Because um, she says she doesn't agree with it. And she says she got whoopings. Public humiliation isn't the right way, but what would you do? And we're about to see what she says. Did you hear me? <laughs> I was like, good, keep turning. <laughs> why do you think she disagrees? I can understand why you disagreed. I thought that was proper punishment today because he was she didn't hit. She wasn't, he wasn't getting hit. He was being humiliated. Maybe this would give him a second, you know, think before you. I think the scars of something like that are are much Good. more can be much more permanent than the scars of being hit by someone. She never really says what she's gonna what she would do, but I mean she kind of said, "Oh well, you know, doing public humiliation is probably worse long term than just like a, a whooping." But that's pretty much it for this video. I don't know what's worse, being publicly humiliated in your hometown. Kids don't have to go to school. Go to the parks, go to you know football games, basketball games, and, and be known as that kid uh, who stole, or just getting a spanking, a, a whooping, you know, black eye or something like that. Cause black eyes heal, bro. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I could get bullied by like 30, 30 you know, the hometown at a young age every day. I don't know, but let me know what you think is is worse, being bullied. Or being uh, humiliated in front of your like hometown, or like just getting beat. 
you know. I mean, I like what the what the what the you know white lady said, but I can also I can also see where the black lady's coming from. She's like, hey, if the mother wants to you know parent her child that way, hey, it's all good to me. That's pretty much it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. All the links are in the description below. That is it. Peace. Oh yeah, I left this part out, right? I don't condone the hitting or the public humiliation, but if I had to pick one, because obviously, you know, this was like pretty like black and white or whatever. There was only like, you know, one side, A side, A side B side. There was no like C side, you know, other option. Except for the jail one, which I think that one is kind of extreme. But yeah, if you had to pick, if I had to pick one, I would I would have went with this whooping. But I don't condone any of it. I don't think it's, you know, all that's bad and stuff for your long term for a kid. So, I don't know, that was just what I wanted to say because I forgot to say it. Alright, peace.